best in poker news, entertainment, and more. This is the Mark Oak Show. All right, everybody. Hey! After disaster, after disaster in the last couple of minutes, we are on, as you can see, behind my head. We're live here at the Seminole Hard Rock. Lucky Hearts Poker Open. Very happy to have you along with us today. We are, of course, here at Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida. Oh, and uh, <laughs> never mind. I thought I had to have my co-host sneak down, but he is tied up. So, uh, so we are hanging out here, having a blast. We unfortunately we had a little technical difficulty there before uh, we came on the air. So sorry about the late start. But we are very happy to have you joining us right now, here on the Mark Hoke Show. And of course, you know we're we're back at Seminole Hard Rock. It's our uh, third trip down here, I think, having a just an amazing time. And this tournament series already off to a very interesting start. I uh, may have an overlay alert for you. Of course, a ton of events going on around the uh, around the country right now. We just had a million dollar guarantee on this one, and uh, you know, we needed about uh, about uh, nine hundred or thousand entries today to to hit that guarantee. So uh, maybe a chance for you to come on down here and pick up some extra big bucks if you're in the. Uh, in the vicinity so come on down and say hi to us here at the seminole hard rock we're in the ballroom come play some poker and have an awesome time we already have a couple champions crowned uh, a lot going on so we're going to break it all down for you here in just a couple of minutes a lot of news too as uh, we continue on here there's so many things happening and it's a, a unbelievable time here in poker and it is just not stopping uh, but I'm going to tell you what what I need to do just to, to help myself out a little bit for the show. I got to step away. We're going to get a commercial break done right off the bat because uh, when uh, we unfortunately had to do a quick reboot and all my notes are gone. So if you guys could bear with me, we're going to step back for just a second so we can have all of our news and notes for you here live from the Seminole Hard Rock at Hollywood, Florida. And make sure, by the way, Twitter, we want to say hi to everybody here at SHRPO hashtag SHRPO. We'd love to hear from you. Of course, you can hit us up on our Twitter, too, at Mark Hoke Show. So we're going to step away, take an early break here, and then we will be right back. So stick around here for all the action from the Seminole Hard Rock. Lucky Hearts Poker Open right after this. The poker action never stops at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. We have millions of reasons for you to be a part of our annual Seminole Hard Rock Lucky Hearts Poker Open, January 22nd through February 11th, 2015. Time to go all in. Opening event starts January 22nd with a $1 million guaranteed prize pool. Play in any of the events leading up to the championship at the premier poker destination. The Seminole Hard Rock Lucky Hearts Poker Open Championship begins February 5th through 11th with a guaranteed prize pool of $3 million. The final table of the championship will be live streamed by World Poker Tour and is a main event tour stop. Visit SHRPO.com or the Poker Room for registration and details. Only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Hollywood. Must be 21 to play slots and table games and at least 18 to play live poker. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, please call 1-888-ADMINUT. Hi everyone, Mark here. If you're a poker player like me and looking for something different and exciting to play, you should give Open Face Chinese Poker a shot. It has just the right mix of skill, luck, plus a huge dose of the fun factor we're all looking for. There's a reason Open Face Chinese Poker has everyone from the recreational player to the top pros hooked on its thrills, action, and unique social interactions you won't find in Hold'em. An incredible game like this has got to be worth checking out. And it's easy to learn, especially by using the ABC Chinese Poker app. Download the ABC Chinese Poker app on iTunes today and find out what everyone's talking about. And if you have questions about the game, tweet at ABC Chinese Poker and they'll be glad to help you along. So join the Open Face Chinese Poker community today with the ABC Chinese Poker app and we'll see you at the tables. 
Join us for Zen's Poker Mentoring's debut poker coaching event featuring poker superstar instructors Brian Rast and Vanessa Russo, plus poker reporter to poker pro Christy Arnett. For unique poker mentoring you'll be able to use on and off the belt. The event will be held February 21st and 22nd at the spectacular Meet Las Vegas Event Center across from the D Las Vegas Hotel and Casino. Downtown. Downtown. The first 15 people to register get a free two-night stay at the D. Not to mention Zen Poker Mentoring is giving away a $565 seat for the newest and most exciting event in poker, the Colossus. For more information, visit ZenPokerMentoring.com and sign up for this one-of-a-kind event today. There's nothing better than sitting down to play poker with good friends and cutting loose. And that's what you're going to find when you tune in to Poker Night in America. Poker Night in America is revolutionizing televised poker in a big way. With all the action you love and the hilarious fun you've been missing, come take a seat at the table with all your favorite players. Old and new with Poker Night in America. Mondays, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific on CBS Sports Network. And don't forget to visit the show online at Poker Night night.com so pull up a chair and join us mondays on poker night in america i'm dutch boyd two-time wsop bracelet winner and i want to share my story with you 12 years as a pro has taught me a lot for the last year i've boiled it all down into a tell-all book 90,000 words in poker tilt i take you on my journey through all the ups and downs that poker has to offer all the manic highs and hellish lows of every bad beat and lucky draw so go to www.pokertilt.com to read more or just go buy the new book on amazon or kindle right now pokertilt.com i guarantee you'll enjoy the ride PokerShop.com is your one-stop shop for all your poker and game room needs. PokerShop.com has you covered with an incredible variety of poker chips and supplies, top quality playing cards, plus gaming tables and room accessories, just like you'd find in your favorite casino. And if you're looking to spruce up your man cave, we offer a wide selection of decor options, from lighting to mirrors, and portable bars to bump stools, to make your game room the one all your friends and family will be talking about. So for everything you need to make your your game night a great night. Go to www.pokershop.com and receive 10% off your purchase with the code HOKE. H-O-K-E. You supply your friends. We supply everything else. Live it. Love it. Pokershop.com. Want more of The Mark Hoke Show? Then follow us on Twitter at Mark Hoke Show and like our Facebook page at The Mark Hoke Show for show news and outstanding poker content from around the world. Plus, enjoy the show anytime by subscribing to our podcasts on iTunes or at markhokeshow.podbean.com. We're even on your mobile phone at markhokeshow.podbean.com backslash mobile. Thanks for listening and being a part of The Mark Hoke Show. This is The Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. Here again, your host, Mark Hoke. All right, and we are back live here. I can breathe now. Oh, God. It has been a, uh, an interesting start to today here, and, of course, an interesting start to this series here at the Seminole Hard Rock Lucky Hearts Poker Open. A lot of money on the line. You betcha. Million dollar guarantee to kick this thing off. And if the way said, does look like we're going to get an overlay out of this one. And uh, talk to talk. Dave is kind of running the show down here. Kind of expected it, to be honest with you. Of course, uh, so many, a ton of events happening. We had an MSPT event uh, just uh, up in the other part of the state. The Borgata finishing up. Uh, big event, Heartland Poker Tour event on the Thunder Valley. We've got uh, another one going on out in Oklahoma. I mean, there's a lot happening here this opening weekend of this series. So, hey, win for everybody here. Good for them. Lots of money on the line, and uh, we're going to break it down for you here, uh, what's been happening so far in this series. But, goodness gracious, just some, some wild play happening. And we are, of course, on day 1E of this opening event. Uh, that flight started at 1, uh, or excuse me, 11 a.m., and we have another one coming up at 6 o'clock tonight. So, overlay alert. Kids, get down here. Round up your friends. Round up your buddies. Get your $570 together because uh, you have an opportunity to pick up some serious coin in this event. Uh, let's uh, break down those four days. 
uh, that have gone off so far. Day 1A, of course, started two days ago. And Mike Ornelli out of Somerville, New Jersey, wins that flight, picks up 302,500 chips. Uh, Pasquale Cayaza out of Cooper City, Florida at 291. Harvey Freeman out of Plantation, Florida is at 266. Uh, Dominic uh Marici out of Hallandale Beach, 206,500. Jonathan Brody out of Davie, Florida, 240. Uh, some of your other notables that advanced out of this flight. Let's see. Uh, just running down the list here for you real quick. Some of the people you might know. Uh, Yigal Hen, one of the Hen brothers, got a, picked up 83,000. He got things rolling there for himself. He'll be advancing to day two. Uh, that was really uh, about it for those notable players. Al can't hang, by the way, already being obnoxious. But that's okay. We love Al. Al is our hero. Uh, day 1B. The evening flight and Vasily Leschenko. You may have heard that name. You've been out here before. He's made a few final tables here at Seminole Hard Rock. 424,000 chips. He is leading the way. Kyle Carino, uh, who was sitting over there yesterday, was uh, covering that flight, really was feeling pretty good about himself and thought he had that flight wrapped up at 331000 and pretty much every other flight he would have, but uh, not this time around. 331, but second to Leschenko. Uh, Carlos Cruz out of Miami, Florida, 250000 uh, Luis Leo the fourth. Uh, of Coral Springs, 229.5. Gunnar Rabe out of West Palm Beach, 222. And Robert Brown out of Sippy, New Hampshire, at 199. Uh, let's see some of your other names that uh, we may recognize down here. Uh, I love when things pop up on your screen that you don't want to. Um, yeah, bear with me for one second. Uh, Brett Bader bagged 107,000. There's a name that uh, some of you guys might know out there. That was that was about it. Uh, day 1C goes to Joseph Bud. Bud picked up 325,000, so he bags the most chips today. Tomislav Krizanik out of Dania, Florida, uh, 265,500. Brian Green out of Miami, 242. Brendan Murphy, Highland Heights, Ohio. Bags 224. Mark Schiller on Davy, Florida 202. Lily Coletto had a big day. She bags 171 as she advances. Uh, Michael Bozeman 147 on that one. Ori Hen, who won uh, this opening event uh, in the last one at the Rock and Roll Poker Open, 141,500. So Ori putting some big numbers up. And uh, just seeing who else uh, got through in that, that flight yesterday. And those are those are your notables on that one. Day 1D finished up last night about uh, 2 a.m. Um, I was on that one. Daniel Perlman out of Daniel, Florida. 334 takes home, uh, wins that flight. Uh, John Magnetta had a pretty impressive looking stack. Ended up with 261,500. Kind of got clipped a little bit at the end of the night last night. Or else he might have been that chip leader. Uh, Mark Duquette out of Boca Raton, Florida, 219. Dustin Murphy, 197. George Griffith, 185. Uh, we did have a couple other notables. Derek Simon, who's, uh, of course, won an event down here before. Consistent contender in many events down here at this one. Uh, Simon bags 177. Uh, let's see. Nicholas Costa, uh, 109. 500. Abby Daniels, 103.500. Had a nice run last night. And, yeah, that's, that's about where we stood on that. Of course, uh, yesterday as well, Billy Pappas was in the house, the November Niner, the man with the Yoshi by his side. And, unfortunately, did not make it through. I'm sure he's back in here again today. But, uh, Billy Pappas. Scary moment for Billy Pappas, by the way, as uh, Yoshi met Wolverine. That's right. Uh, the card protector battle had uh, <laughs> had uh, Wolverine on the same table with Yoshi, and uh, looks like Wolverine won out last night, but still pretty <laughs> impressive. I think, I think I can't hang what's come on the show. 
I think he wants to come on the show. I'm, I'm just giving that indication. He's he's whoring up over here. I I I don't either. I can't hang firing projectiles at me. People have been firing projectiles at me all day. I must be getting popular. Stuff thrown at me all day long. Eric Harkins down there too, the legendary photographer. He doesn't want to do an interview. I gotta ask, Eric. Eric, I gotta come here. I gotta ask you about this real quick. Come 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 here. Come here. Come here. This is great. This. No, you were, you were fine the last time. You did great. Everybody loved you. I got the most feedback, and they said, we need to get that Eric guy back on. The girls dug you. The, the chicks dug you, man. You were on video. Come over here. I got to ask you this question. Come on. Come on. One one question. You can do it. I, you're practicing, remember? I'm, I'm going to harass the man right here, right now. See, you see, this is the problem. When people start throwing stuff at me, that means that somebody gets stuck on here. Now, Eric, I got to ask you a question. This is a really, this is a really cool thing that was going on with you Which right really cool thing the the situation with espn 30 for 30 yeah it's ongoing giving you a call i mean tell everybody about this uh, about what's going on that that they called you up to be in a 30 for 30 yeah they're actually working on a, a new piece uh, for money maker uh and poker and it's uh, being filmed over the next six months and i'm not sure when it's going to air but it's basically about the explosion of poker so uh, kudos to ESPN for recognizing it as a sport and the fact that they want to make a big deal out of it. And uh, they called because uh, we were the official photographers in 2003 when Moneymaker won, and they wanted um, eyes on the ground and um, firsthand reaction. My mind, though, is kind of old, so yeah. everything yeah. might be a little foggy. But, you know, there's too much time without can't hang at the bar. That's the problem. That, yeah, you yeah. see, brain cells are popped. Yeah, yeah. So Causes issues. I don't quite remember. Did Moneymaker win? I think so. Okay. <laughs> I think I think Chris did. <laughs> Call it a hunch. Well, so so what were they? Uh, what were, what did they want to know exactly? Were they just I looking haven't, for? Haven't done the interview. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, no yeah, idea. Yeah. Upcoming interview. Yep. Yep. Uh, I think they're, we're going to do it. Uh, I think mine's scheduled um, in late May. Nice. So yeah, actually fly out and do a do a, a little spot with uh, ESPN and uh, we'll know whether Lon or Norm or who's going to be running the interviews but i have to answer a bunch of questions well that's awesome well congratulations yeah. on that that's it's exciting everybody it's nice everybody good. digs those 30 for 30s so yeah. you should be feeling pretty good yeah, I, I am it's very cool to be a part of history too so you know they, they had to twist your arm a little bit though didn't uh, they? yes they did i don't do interviews oh wait i'm on air yeah exactly i'm out of here that's ah, gone <laughs> eric harkins everybody does the does the photography uh, for a lot of the photography here for the Seminole Hard Rock, and uh, Eric's going to be on a 30 for 30. So there you go. See, we break news here. That's what we do. That's pretty cool. Al can't hang still hiding. I'm, I'm, I'm and now let, let me, let me, let me show you what he threw at me here, everybody. Hang on one second. This was the projectile. That was fired at me, uh, struck me in the liver. So uh, I may be having some malfunctions if I do decide to have a drink or two. But uh, this will this will be headed back in the other direction fairly soon. So the 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 projectile right here, this will be bouncing off Al's head at some point during the series. But for right now, we'll get it out of the way. All right. So anyway, back to uh, what was going on here in uh, here in Florida. We did have uh, have two champions crowned already in this series. Of course, uh, you know, it's not just one event going on. There's a lot happening. And let's take a look at those results. Of course, yesterday uh, we crowned an Omaha 8 or better champion. That was event number two. And that goes to Robert Campbell. Uh, kind of kind of a shocking thing that happened in that one. Uh, and got to say, the players were... And they were just a little, a little feisty two days ago. Just a little bit. And they wanted to play all night, and the event was scheduled to end at midnight. And uh, yeah, they they got a little, got things a little, uh, little chatty, a little, little. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I'm trying to. I'm trying to not use the word that I really want to use. But they were, they were a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, fired up. Um, but there was apparently, I believe, a five-way deal on that one. Uh, one second, and we're 
I'm just running down through the summary. Yeah, the last five players uh, did complete a deal to divide the remaining prize pool. Campbell was the leader, so that is his, uh, believe it or not, his 11th Omaha 8 title and third here at Seminole Hard Rock. So Robert Campbell, uh, boy, I'll tell you, not many players go through their careers with you know getting one win, much less 11. But Campbell out of North Miami, Florida is the winner, $4,372. Don Todd. Uh, Davy Florida, 3,472. Cameron Reed finishes in third, 3,324. Robert Leffitt out of Hallandale Beach, Florida, 2,996. Charles Wells, two mil, or $2,236. Also, Claude Angelo Baduin, who is the leader going into yesterday's play, in yesterday's play, finishes sixth. Mary Plant in seventh. Timothy Patras in eighth. And Anita Pearl, we've heard that name before here too, finishes in ninth place so there are your results in event number two uh we will swing it to event number three and that was the ladies tournament and i'll tell you what if you were if you were in the building you missed um what shall we say one of the wilder final tables that i think we were ever going to see <laughs> Here at the Seminole Hard Rock, as uh, lemon drops were being passed around and trash can basketball actually took place during this final table. A couple of instigators there, Natasha Barber was on that after she had busted out of uh, Flight 1C, decided to come over and hop in that ladies event. And she and our champion, Catherine Storms, decided to whoop it up a little bit. And Catherine, uh, yeah, she was, she was perky. <laughs> She was, she was a little bit hyped up and a little bit toasty, but she managed to pull through and win the Ladies' Event Championship yesterday. Uh, had 19 entrants in that. Not a big field, but uh, a, certainly a fun one, to say the least. Uh, she knocks off Patricia Cahilo out of uh, Port Jefferson Station, New York. That was interesting. Uh, Catherine Storms out of Virginia Beach, Virginia. Cahilo out of, uh, officially out of New York, so a little bit of a all-American field there. But she comes up big, wins that in a, a massive three-handed battle there yesterday as uh, three players were just duking it out for what seemed like forever. Uh, probably about, uh, I'd say about three-handed for about two and a half to three hours. It was uh, They were pretty deep, and it, it showed. But wow, what a wild night that was. And Catherine Storms comes up big and wins the ladies event here at the Seminole Hard Rock Lucky Hearts Poker Open. So congratulations to Catherine Storms. Uh, we do have some other events going on. Of course, the opening event going on right now. Event uh, Saturday is day 1E happening starting at 11 o'clock. And then, of course, 1F kicks off at 6 p.m. tonight. Uh, also today starting off... Horse tournament right in front of us going on. Uh, looking at 38 entrants at this point. They're on level 5, so still obviously a long way to go on that one. But that event uh, started today. Tomorrow, uh, three big uh, three big days here. Of course, day 2 of the opening event, event number 1. As they'll be playing for that million-dollar prize pool starting off tomorrow. Also on Sunday, $250 big stack semi-turbo no limit hold limit event. $25,000 guarantee on that one. Uh, event number six also starting off eight-handed, no limit hold and freeze out, $1,650 buy-in. Had an interesting situation on that last night, too, where they were giving away 10 seats in a qualifier and got 45 players. So nearly one in four picked up uh, picked up seats in that one. A couple guys ran off and, uh, out of one flight 1D and multi-tabled that to try and qualify. And uh, Robert Gag Gaglioni came up uh, came up short. He was 13 players left in that and actually busted both of the tournaments pretty soon after we put it up on the blog on SHRPO.com. <laughs> so kind of jinxed him a little bit, but that's how it goes. Uh, let's see. So those are your events that are coming up tomorrow. A lot happening here at Summer Horn Rock for players that are just coming back from their break in that Flight 1E. And, of course, the horse players firing it up here as well. All right. So that's uh, kind of your update from what's happening here. Once again, don't forget to check out the blog. 
SHRPO.com. Hashtag us on Twitter, SHRPO, and the Twitter account, SHRPO. How about that? It's like SHRPO. Hopefully everybody can remember that. SHRPO, SHRPO, SHRPO. All right. So that's where those events are at the moment. Uh, but I'd say a lot of news going on in the poker world, too. And we're going to break some of that down for you here in just a second. So we're going to take our other break. And we come back. We're going to talk about illegal st staking becoming illegal in Nevada? Really? Caesars bankruptcy and all sorts of other stuff. So let's take a break, and we'll be right back here on the Mark Hoke Show. Thanks for joining us. We're live here from the Seminole Hard Rock Lucky Hearts Poker Open. Stick around. We'll be right back. PokerShop.com is your one-stop shop for all your poker and game room needs. PokerShop.com has you covered with an incredible variety of poker chips and supplies, top quality playing cards, plus gaming tables and room accessories, just like you'd find in your favorite casino. And if you're looking to spruce up your man cave, we offer a wide selection of decor options, from lighting to mirrors, and portable bars to bump stools, to make your game room the one all your friends and family will be talking about. So for everything you need to make your game night a great night go to www.pokershop.com and receive 10 percent off your purchase with the code hoke h-o-k-e you supply your friends we supply everything else live it love it pokershop.com I'm Dutch Boyd, two-time WSOP bracelet winner, and I want to share my story with you. Twelve years as a pro has taught me a lot. For the last year, I've boiled it all down into a tell-all book, 90,000 words. In Poker Tilt, I take you on my journey through all the ups and downs that poker has to offer, all the manic highs and hellish lows of every bad beat and lucky draw. So go to www.pokertilt.com to read more, or just go buy the new book on Amazon or Kindle right now, pokertilt.com. I guarantee you'll enjoy the ride. Poker action never stops at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. We have millions of reasons for you to be a part of our annual Seminole Hard Rock Lucky Hearts Poker Open, January 22nd through February 11th, 2015. Time to go all in. Opening event starts January 22nd with a $1 million guaranteed prize pool. Play in any of the events leading up to the championship at the premier poker destination. The Seminole Hard Rock Lucky Hearts Poker Open Championship begins February 5th through 11th with a guaranteed prize pool of $3 million. The final table of the championship will be live streamed by World Poker Tour and is a main event tour stop. Visit SHRPO.com or the Poker Room for registration and details. Only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Hollywood. Must be 21 to play slots and table games and at least 18 to play live poker. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, please call 1-888-ADMINUTE. It's time for you to check out RogueWire.com. News, sports, entertainment, and the internet home of the Mark Hoke Show. Don't wait. Let the sparks fly from your computer at RogueWire.com. And of course, RogueWire.com is powered by BlueRail.net. For over two years, the Mark Hoke Show has trusted BlueRail.net as their exclusive host, and you can too. Visit BlueRail.net for top-level web hosting, website building and maintenance, one-on-one -on -one customer service, and much more. It's time to get on board with your winning combination. BlueRail.net and RogueWire.com. How far do you want to go? Join us for Zen's Poker Mentoring's debut poker coaching event featuring poker superstar instructors Brian Rast and Vanessa Russo, plus poker reporter to poker pro Christy Arnett. For unique poker mentoring you'll be able to use on and off the belt. The event will be held February 21st and 22nd at the spectacular Meet Las Vegas Event Center across from the D Las Vegas Hotel and Casino. Downtown. Downtown. The first 15 people to register get a free two-night stay at the D. Not to mention, Zen Poker Mentoring is giving away a $565 seat for the newest and most exciting event in poker, The Colossus. For more information, visit ZenPokerMentoring.com and sign up for this one-of-a-kind event today. Hi everyone, Mark here. If you're a poker player like me and looking for something different and exciting to play, you should give Open Face Chinese Poker a shot. 
It has just the right mix of skill, luck, plus a huge dose of the fun factor we're all looking for. There's a reason Open Face Chinese Poker has everyone from the recreational player to the top pros hooked on its thrills, action, and unique social interactions you won't find in Hold'em. An incredible game like this has got to be worth checking out. And it's easy to learn, especially by using the ABC Chinese Poker app. Download the ABC Chinese Poker app on iTunes today and find out what everyone's talking about. And if you have questions about the game, tweet at ABC Chinese Poker and they'll be glad to help you along. So join the Open Face Chinese Poker community today with the ABC Chinese Poker app and we'll see you at the tables. There's nothing better than sitting down to play poker with good friends and cutting loose. And that's what you're going to find when you tune in to Poker Night in America. Poker Night in America is revolutionizing televised poker in a big way. With all the action you love and the hilarious fun you've been missing, come take a seat at the table with all your favorite players. Old and new with Poker Night in America. Mondays, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific on CBS Sports Network. And don't forget to visit the show online at Poker Night so pull up a chair and join us Mondays on Poker Night in America. Want more of The Mark Hoke Show? Then follow us on Twitter at Mark Hoke Show and like our Facebook page at The Mark Hoke Show for show news and outstanding poker content from around the world. Plus, enjoy the show anytime by subscribing to our podcasts on iTunes or at markhokeshow.podbean.com. We're even on your mobile phone at markhokeshow.podbean.com backslash mobile. Thanks for listening and being a part of The Mark Hoke Show. Now, let's return to The Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. Here again, your host, Mark Hoke. Al has started a war. Al can't hang. He wants to fire stuff. We fire back. I did conk him right on the melon. Which means something very bad is going to happen to me at some point during this seminal Hard Rock Poker Open. Lucky Hearts Poker Open series. So you need to watch the shows because I'm sure that there is going to be a lot of pain, blues, and agony coming my way. Al, am I right about that? Yeah, he's, he's, he's all focused over there. Of course, uh, doing the blog at shrpo.com. Follow along. Check out the action. Much happening. By the way, uh, of course, uh, one thing that we are trying to do down here this time around is we're really making a push on Twitter, and we'd love to get those follows at shrpo. We'd certainly appreciate it. That'd be a lot of fun. And, you know, so interesting tweet Al just put up there. And let me bring that up here real quick because I just retweeted a MarcoShow.com. Because uh, early on in this ter- uh, Flight 1E, or Day 1E, excuse me, the early chip leader, the name David Baker. Now, we all know there's a couple. we got David Bakes Baker. we got David ODB Baker. And apparently this uh, tweet has gone viral. But we have another David Baker. That's right, kids. So if you want to see the new David Baker... Check it out at SHRPO on Twitter. He's right there, kids. Unreal. Uh, yeah, and having a lot of fun on the Twitters there, too. Uh, you know, So make sure you follow us there. We're having a good time. Of course, we got some dealer art up there. It was Billy Pappas in the house, the, the Yoshi versus Wolverine card protector battle, and so much more. Check it out at SHRPO. Dot com. Also, by the way, for our show, you know, we certainly do appreciate all of our new followers, and uh, they are coming in like crazy. I'll tell you what, it is a lot of fun uh, just uh, checking out some of our new followers at Poker Discover. Uh, thank, uh, thank Poker Discover for giving us a follow there. Uh, Jordan Cutter, a poker term supervisor in the house, uh, at Vegas J Dub, giving us a follow on the show. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Barbara Carden. B, at B Carden, also following us there. A- Anthony Brammer, uh, Bram underscore I underscore M A M A B. So there you go. Bram I M A B with a couple of underscores in there. So thank you to everybody for all the follows on the show. We do appreciate it. The family just keeps growing and growing here with the Mark Hoke Show, and we certainly welcome all of you into the fold. Thank you so much for following the show on social media. We do appreciate it. 
Now, a lot of other stories happening in poker, and I'm sure as we get some of our co-hosts available and get them in here to say hi, we're going to get to talk about some of these. But the, the first one that we want to talk about, uh, uh, an interesting article that up on Poker Fuse about uh, Caesar's bankruptcy and how that affects the WSOP. Uh, of course, recently, and, and here's what's going on, uh, of course, with WSOP.com leading the way in uh, Nevada, New Jersey, but Caesars Interactive Entertainment having some issues, and of course, uh, well, of course they uh, they're part of that. But the the Caesars Entertainment operating operating company filed for voluntary bankruptcy in Illinois and is an involuntary bankruptcy in Delaware. So just so you understand, uh, a lot of the you know these are separate companies, and the WSOP is going to be separated out from that. Uh, Caesars Interactive is still doing very well. Thank you very much. As uh, Mitch Garber running the show out there, but and uh, but apparently uh, this bankruptcy declaration for the other side of Caesars, the Caesars Entertainment Operating Company, is supposed to gonna have no effect on the WSOP's live or online operations or the employees. But uh, Lord only knows how that could turn out. But yeah, but Caesars, of course, uh, having some issues. Twenty-five billion in the hole. It's a lot of money to be down. Uh, we also have some interesting on other online news. In California, this one's courtesy of Poker News. Uh, California Assemblyman Reggie Jones-Sawyer uh, reintroduced his online poker legislation but made a lot of changes that put this thing by the boards earlier this last, or late last year, excuse me. I keep forgetting we're in January. Um, the, the bad actor clause and the exclusion of horse racing tracks has been changed up. So this is now AB, the bill is now AB 167, uh, would soften bad actor language to allow for poker stars to participate and not give licensing eligibility to the racing industry. So this is uh, this has been changed, and of course this was AB 9 that was introduced last month by Mike Assemblyman Mike Gatto. But uh, Stone Sawyer said in a statement uh, that the reintroduction comes after a collaborative discussion process that included substantial input from the state's Department of Justice and Gambling Control Commission. But uh, even more so important, a lot of the Indian tribes. Uh, of course, the, the coalition that has partnered with Poker Stars, which is the Morongo Band of Mission Indians, San Manuel Band of Mission Indians, and California's three largest card clubs, now support the legislation. What a shock. <laughs> what a shock. Um Let's see, and I'm just uh, reading through this. So this, this coalition in the statement said, in place of previous attempts to use the legislative process to provide competitive advantages to a few operators, Assembly Member Joan Sawyer's bill brings parties with diverse interests together to move for legislation forward. It's time to move on and move forward. We are pleased Assemblyman, Assembly Member Joan Sawyer recognizes this. We applaud his efforts to shift the discussion in a new and hopefully more fruitful direction. What? Really? Are you serious? Al is, Al is throwing something at me, and wh- yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> it's like fix what? I don't make mistakes. Um, but yeah, so amazing how when things change and it benefits somebody that uh, those bills get uh, you know all of a sudden the bills fantastic. <laughs> but apparently we are so we are seeing some movement here on this one. Uh, the one looks like the one to watch is going to be AB 167 in California for online poker. Now this one and this one's kind of scary, and I'm going to tell everybody right now: uh, if you even if you don't live in Nevada, get on the horn to the Nevada State Legislature because if you play poker, this concerns you no matter what. This is huge. Uh, this uh, news uh, put up on Pocket Fives. That the WSOP staking situation, you know, of course, and, and everybody gets staked in this thing. We all know that. Very few players in there on their own money. But the Nevada State Senate has proposed a bill which, if it's passed, would make taking a piece of action of another player, commonly known as staking, within the state borders a felony. That's right, a felony. If you stake somebody in the, you're involved in a staking relationship. You would be classified as a felon. Uh, 
This is Nevada State Bill 40, uh, which was uh, pre-filed on December 20th, made public on Friday, and would prohibit and criminalize player-to-player -player staking for brick-and-mortar poker tournaments, among other activities. Uh, this was the bill was targeted targeted at messenger betting for sports wagering, but uh, somehow poker got involved in this. So it would make it a Class B felony to receive directly or indirectly any compensation, reward, or any percentage or share of the money or property played. Class B felonies in Nevada carry a prison sentence of one to six years and or a fine of $5,000. Could you imagine this, everybody? That the police would be flying around at the World Series making sure that you didn't stake anybody. Uh, this is, you know, I gotta say, this, if, I, I, you know, this is one of these bills, and I, and I don't know who proposed this, and, I, and I, I can tell you this, I'm gonna find out because I live in Nevada, and I'm very curious to see if this would be one of my legislators or what idiot did this. But uh, I, I may have a Mark Hoke rally up in Carson City because this is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. I, I don't know what the point of it is, number one, why it would be bad to buy pieces. Now, now it is a con sometimes it is a controversial discussion in, uh, in poker. You know, Different players have different pieces of each other. They're playing in the same tournament. Is there soft playing going on? You know, and, you know, there's no disclosure on it. So, I mean, that is an issue in itself. But in terms of actually making this a legal issue and making it a felony, I'd really love to know how they're going to track this. This is, one of the, this is one of these bills that somebody was sitting around and said, oh, this sounds great. You know, we're going to make sure that nobody can stake anybody. So it's always an honest game. But how do you enforce it? This is just, uh, this is ridiculous. How would you enforce a bill like this? I mean, are you gonna, are you gonna follow every poker player around? You know, everybody that wins a tournament, you're gonna, you're gonna track them across, uh, across the country and, you know, when they're handing money off to each other? I mean, it, it is one of, the, this is just a, a ridiculous idea that is a completely unenforceable law. And I, I, I just don't know how they're going to do it. But it is obviously a concern to a lot of people uh, out there in the poker community. So we need to keep an eye on this one. Um, and according to uh, CalvinAir.com, uh, the bill's reach also extends to unauthorized online gambling affiliates. The so language of the bill strikes any entity from accepting or facilitating wagers placed with unauthorized gaming operators or for transmitting or delivering anything of value resulting from a better wager. But once again, how, how do you, how would you follow that? I don't know. That, that is, a, but it's an interesting story. I'm sure we're going to get to talk about it a little bit more as we get more guests on the show. Uh, it should be... <laughs> It should be a subject of discussion, to say the least. By the way, I want to congratulate my wife for doing a great job putting together a new uh, a new system for our tripod. Our our tripod uh, with, with with our camera on it uh, has tended to be a victim over the years. Uh, takes a few punts here and there, even being off to the side. Still got crushed three times at the Poker Stars Caribbean Adventure. I've had enough. So now we've gone barber pole. Uh, literally, it is a, you know, if, if I could grab it, I would, but I kind of want to keep the camera where it is. Red, white, and blue barber pole striping on the tripod now. So no excuses, kids. If you run into this tripod, you are officially an idiot. <laughs> Sorry. But that's how it goes. So we're very excited to debut the Barber Polo Tripod here at the Seminole Hard Rock Lucky Hearts Poker Open. Oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding me. But hey, of course, so once again, a lot going on here at the Seminole Hard Rock. We've got uh, Flight 1E coming off and get down here, guys. Flight 1F, or Day 1F, excuse me, is going to be kicking off here at 6 o'clock tonight. And uh, we could be looking at an overlay. Al, where are we on entries on this uh, on this puppy? Do you know? One three six six at the moment. We need to get to about two thousand. 
So still a long way to go to hit that $1 million guarantee. So that means overlay alert, overlay alert, get ready. Which means you need to get down here and you need to fire some bullets and have a great time and join us here at the Seminole Hard Rock Rock and Roll Poker Open. All right, and we'll get you more updates here in just a minute. We're going to step back, take one more break, and we'll be right back here on the Mark Hoke Show. We're live from the Hollywood, Florida at Seminole Hard Rock. Lucky Hearts, WPT Poker Open. Yeah, we're going to see some WPT action down here with uh, the Deep Stacks kids coming in next week. And then, of course, uh, this is also a WPT main event, so the Champions Cup is going to be here, too. Someone will get their name on that. So stick around, everybody. We're going to take one more break, and we'll be right back here on The Mark Hoke Show. Thanks for joining us. The poker action never stops at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. We have millions of reasons for you to be a part of our annual Seminole Hard Rock Lucky Hearts Poker Open, January 22nd through February 11th, 2015. Time to go all in. Opening event starts January 22nd with a $1 million guaranteed prize pool. Play in any of the events leading up to the championship at the premier poker destination. The Seminole Hard Rock Lucky Hearts Poker Open Championship begins February 5th through 11th with a guaranteed prize pool of $3 million. The final table of the championship will be live streamed by World Poker Tour and is a main event tour stop. Visit SHRPO.com or the Poker Room for registration and details. Only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Hollywood. Must be 21 to play slots and table games and at least 18 to play live poker. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, please call 1-888-ADMINUTE. Hi everyone, Mark here. If you're a poker player like me and looking for something different and exciting to play, you should give Open Face Chinese Poker a shot. It has just the right mix of skill, luck, plus a huge dose of the fun factor we're all looking for. There's a reason Open Face Chinese Poker has everyone from the recreational player to the top pros hooked on its thrills, action, and unique social interactions you won't find in Hold'em. An incredible game like this has got to be worth checking out. And it's easy to learn, especially by using the ABC Chinese Poker app. Download the ABC Chinese Poker app on iTunes today and find out what everyone's talking about. And if you have questions about the game, tweet at ABC Chinese Poker and they'll be glad to help you along. So join the Open Face Chinese Poker community today with the ABC Chinese Poker app and we'll see you at the tables. Join us for Zen's Poker Mentoring's debut poker coaching event featuring poker superstar instructors Brian Rast and Vanessa Russo, plus poker reporter to poker pro Christy Arnett. For unique poker mentoring you'll be able to use on and off the belt. The event will be held February 21st and 22nd at the spectacular Meet Las Vegas Event Center across from the D Las Vegas Hotel and Casino. Downtown. Downtown. The first 15 people to register get a free two-night stay at the D. Not to mention, Zen Poker Mentoring is giving away a $565 seat for the newest and most exciting event in poker, the Colossus. For more information, visit ZenPokerMentoring.com and sign up for this one-of-a-kind event today. There's nothing better than sitting down to play poker with good friends and cutting loose. And that's what you're going to find when you tune in to Poker Night in America. Poker Night in America is revolutionizing televised poker in a big way. With all the action you love and the hilarious fun you've been missing, come take a seat at the table with all your favorite players. Old and new with Poker Night in America. Mondays, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific on CBS Sports Network. And don't forget to visit the show online at Poker Night so pull up a chair and join us Mondays on Poker Night in America. I'm Dutch Boyd, a two-time WSOP bracelet winner, and I want to share my story with you. Twelve years as a pro has taught me a lot. For the last year, I've boiled it all down into a tell-all book, 90,000 words. In Poker Tilt, I take you on my journey through all the ups and downs that poker has to offer, all the manic highs and hellish lows of every bad beat and lucky draw. So go to www.pokertilt.com to read more, or just go buy the new book on Amazon or Kindle right now, pokertilt.com. I guarantee you'll enjoy the ride. 
PokerShop.com is your one-stop shop for all your poker and game room needs. PokerShop.com has you covered with an incredible variety of poker chips and supplies, top quality playing cards, plus gaming tables and room accessories, just like you'd find in your favorite casino. And if you're looking to spruce up your man cave, we offer a wide selection of decor options, from lighting to mirrors, and portable bars to bump stools, to make your game room the one all your friends and family will be talking about. So for everything you need to make your game night a great night, go to www.pokershop.com and receive 10% off your purchase with the code HOKE. H-O-K-E. You supply your friends. We supply everything else. Live it. Love it. Pokershop.com. Want more of The Mark Hoke Show? Then follow us on Twitter at Mark Hoke Show and like our Facebook page at The Mark Hoke Show for show news and outstanding poker content from around the world. Plus, enjoy the show anytime by subscribing to our podcasts on iTunes or at markhokeshow.podbean.com. We're even on your mobile phone at markhokeshow.podbean.com backslash mobile. Thanks for listening and being a part of The Mark Hoke Show. This is the Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. Here again, your host, Mark Hoke. All right, we're back to wrap up our first show here from Seminole Hard Rock Lucky Arts Poker Open. Well, one other event that's going on that we kind of didn't mention, of course, discussed it on our show on KLA at 12.30 a.m., Oh, wait! Never mind, we're going to talk about that, because look, look at this sexy son of a gun. Where's my headphones? Uh, they're, they're tucked away. What the hell? You'll be all right. What the hell? Oh, I, oh I can't hear anyone else ragging on them. Who's on the line? Nobody. Oh. It's, it's just you and I. Oh, okay. Al, what's up? Nothing. What's going on? Al is the, the king of the blog here. Zen Poker Mentoring. Yeah, there's a big event going on in Las Vegas, February 21st, 22nd. Brian Rast. When? Vanessa Russo. February 21st and 22nd at the... Uh, Oh, okay, we'll be down here by then. Meet Las Vegas Event Center. Yeah, where? The Meet Las Vegas Event Center, downtown, across the street from the D. Oh. Spectacular facility. All right, I'll take your word for it. ZenPokerMentoring.com. Sign uh, up today. You get two first 15 people sign up, get a free ho- two nights hotel stay at the D. And a slick patch. We might get a patch, maybe, if I'm feeling it. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> we'll just stop by and I'll get away with you anyway. Yeah, we got a couple. We got a few patches here, but. Yeah, so it should be a great time. Ch- go sign up right now. ZenPokerMentoring.com. ZenPokerMentoring.com. Ow, what's going on, man? Welcome. Yeah, thank you, thank you. What's up? Not much. Um, I'm, you know, suffering from pain. You know, you hit my liver that first shot. Huh? What? Oh. I feel yeah, you hit my liver. Yeah, yeah, I hit your liver, but there's like four inches of padding between the bottle and your liver. So I think, I think you're okay. Okay, thank you. And you hit me in the head. I did. And I have like four inches of padding of hair between the oh, exactly. bottle and my head. So. You got that covered. Plus that steel plate, too. Yeah. Yeah, you're all right. So, good. so Al, what's, uh, what's happening here at the uh, Lucky Hearts Poker Room? Uh, there's a couple of poker tournaments going on. Yeah. <laughs> Are you more? Well, I was hoping for more. Uh, well, let's see. We got the fifth plate for the one lady. Uh, over the road, get here if you can. Is you're gonna get some free money out of this deal, because we're not gonna get we need six hundred and thirty-four players tonight to match the guarantee. That's a lot. And today's flight was three ninety-four, which is the biggest by far of the uh, of the five flights they've so, run. So overall alert. Overall alert. I try not to say that as the tournament people are walking by. Well, it, well, you know what? We're live. Yeah. They're, they're going to have to live with it. Yeah. So, yes. Uh, so, yes. We like a little free money. Uh, we got the horse tournament going on right in front of us. Or, as I've been calling it, the Grumpy Fuckers Invitation. Whoa! Hey, now. Oh, are we not dropping that times? Uh, no. No. Yoff is going to hear it eventually. Yeah. I don't know. Do you think Yoff really watches the shows? Yes, I know. Sh- okay, uh, good. Yap was very protective of the show. Yeah. Of, of the, I mean, of the. Of course. The brands, yes. But it is. I mean, that dude. And I didn't come up with that name. Who <laughs> was San Antonio? Who came yeah. up with that name? Of course, yes. They're all grumpy, except for me. He's the nicest guy in the room, and he's always got a smile on his face, and looking for his second trophy here. 
Yeah, one one uh, rock and roll poker yep, open. Yeah, one one uh, the last series rock and roll poker open. Yeah. So yeah, of course. Uh, let's see. He had a. What, what did he finish in the main event? It was that year. It was. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It was like 12th or something like that ballpark. I don't remember. I got it flying around here somewhere. But that that's easily found. Yeah. So of course a lot of excitement going on here. Yeah. And the horse field, uh, the or the Omaha field, two days ago. No. Uh-huh. They were they were a little feisty, weren't they? Yeah, they're always. Uh, anytime there's a, uh, anytime there's a split pot or a uh, or a load in, uh, they're always grumpy. You know, when when the whole purpose of the of the game is to get the worst hand, it's just it draws a certain type of people. I mean, those type of people are generally grumpy. So yeah, so the Omaha Highway wasn't those, but hey, we don't spread rods here, so we don't have to worry about a rods tournament. Oh, thank God. We've been having uh, a late study tournament later in the series, and oh, that'll be fun. That's that's fun. Well, like, guess what, Marco? I'm putting you on the schedule. Are you that. serious? Why wouldn't I? Really? I don't know. I don't know. It's, a, it's such a gift for being so popular and having a having a uh, real winning radio show and. I got a little schedule report around there, so we get all the fun late night problems. Thank you. I don't know about Thank you very much. Uh, 12th in the 1994 World Series Poker Main Event. Yes. How was that poke, Tom? You know, this is, this, is, this is a sign of how, pro- how much poker has changed over the years. Do you know, take a guess how much he made for that. Uh, let's see. Uh, don't look. Uh, I'm not right right there. I'm not uh, 12th place in the middle 94. 94. Let's see, thank you, Brian. I'm going to say we got 17k for 12. Uh, you actually undersold him. Really? $26,880. Huh? That would get you about half a million now. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I'll oh, click on that to how many entries they have. Oh, sure. I'll be glad to. Why not? Let's take a look. Well, I, was, I was counting where uh, they have one, my buck 20, maybe a nine one. Right, the Hinder Mom's got to get rid of that that fade to gray screen. That's driving me nuts. Well, you can click to not open, for them not to pop up, right? Yeah, I'll figure that out. Uh, uh, top, top, top should have entrance. Let's see. That was the year Russ Hamilton won. That was a big million dollars. Well, where the heck is it? It should have been on the main screen. Yeah, here. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this main event. This you were just that. Main event. Um, All right, somebody, somebody uh, tweeted about Coco. Tell me how many. I'm not seeing it because I've got to. Uh, tell me how many play, how many entries were in 1994 the Russell event. There's a schedule. There's the event. We're going to click on the event. There's Russ Hamilton. Can we say Russ Hamilton anymore? Are we allowed? Russ Hamilton. Okay, that's good. 27 players cash. That was uh, Donico D. Okay, so we're there was, was, there was, there was, a, was a casher on that one. Look at that picture of John Spadavecchio, by the way. Wow. That's wow. That is a curly hair. Look at that. Yep, yes, it is. That is something. That's a, that's a little hair. That's not bad. Yeah, so. Yeah, we'll find that out. Yeah, so. 285. I'm saying 285. Okay. It was, ni- let's see, 1994. Yeah, we're just the... Uh, I'm going to look this up here real quick. Go 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 Ricky was your friend. There was there, there was a big day event. Ricky. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. And I'll just snap and give you the number. Wicky, wicky, wow, wow. 268. All right. I said 285. Right? Oh, there you go. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I, kinda, I know what I'm doing a little bit. All right. So, yeah, this has been a wild time here at the Seminole Hard Rock. Lucky Hearts Poker. I don't think we've gone to the wrap up yet. Oh, we're still, we're still running up. Oh, there's Ryan Lucchese. This is, is this is the wrap up. This is day three. We'll uh, we'll get there. So, what do you expect from uh, now? Now WPT is kind of back in the picture here. We've got the, uh, of course, three million dollar guaranteed main event mm-hmm. coming up in here. Deep Stacks is coming in and doing a week of this, and then we've got, of course, this is a WPT main event title, so you'll get your name on the Champions Cup and everything. Do you think it's going to change uh, change anything in terms of uh, sure, turnout? Right. Sure. Absolutely. When I get your right, there's a, there's, there's a group of players that travel around just for the to WB, uh, WPT events, so yeah, absolutely it's going to have an impact. Yeah, should, be, uh, should be fun to see. Looking forward to it. So. Wow, the gang's all here. The gang's all here. The gang is all here. I don't know. I think I think Lucchese is just... Uh, 
I don't know. What's up with him? I don't know. The tall drink of water. He is. He is a. He is a very tall guy. All right. I'm just gonna start ripping the backs off of these. Now, don't rip the backs off those, Al. Come on. You don't want to hit me in the head. Well, you hit me in the side. Oh my God. Look, there was, there was between got, his side and my head, which is thicker. Man, your, your skull much thicker. <laughs> much thicker. Oh, my God. But hey, by the way, Aussie Million's going on, too. I forgot to mention that. I talked about... I, nothing is happening outside of this poker room. Well, I know, but the Aussie Million's is going on. I don't know. Pretty I'm, not, I'm not going to Australia, so... I got gypped when I worked for Full Tilt. Didn't oh, get to go. Really? Yeah, because the, the way I joined them... Is they didn't have they didn't spo- that was the first year they didn't sponsor the world to, uh, the uh, Aussie Millions, so I joined in the summer. Was waiting for them to start running promotions at satellites. So I go to Australia, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we're not sponsoring it this year." So Sorry. I I joined Full Tilt with with the expectation that I was finally going to get to visit, visit Australia, but no screwball in the side pocket. Yep. I'm sorry. So, but it is going on. So, we'll, we'll probably mention that on the next show. All right. Because uh, we're, we're about done here for this one. All right. Well, uh, good to see you. Yeah, Al, thanks for coming over. Appreciate it. Make right. sure, of course, uh, we got a big, that, that big old blog thing going on. If you yep. want to tell everybody about that. Shopo.com. S-H-I-P-O.com. S-H-I-P-O at, uh, on Twitter. Um, hashtag S-H-I-P-O. We'll see it. If you send a tweet to S-H-I-P-O, we'll see it. Ask us questions, say something funny, say something stupid. We'll see it. If it's funny, we'll post it, we'll retweet it. If not, we'll just ignore it. And, and if you win, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll put your picture all over the place. There you go. That sounds like fun. All right. All right, so there you go. Well, Cheers. Al can't hang, everybody. Stopping by, saying hi. After launching a uh, ballistic attack against me here. But it's all good. All right, so that is going to wrap up our first show here from the Seminole Hard Rock Lucky Hearts Poker Open. Very happy to have you with us, guys. Uh, of course, these shows will be up on YouTube. Let's go to uh, search Mark Hoke. You'll find it because I'm the greatest Mark Hoke of all time, apparently. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, I would uh, check it out. And, of course, uh, our also will be on uh, Facebook, uh, the Mark Hoke Show, Twitter at Mark Hoke Show. And we have our big show coming up on KLAV 1230 AM Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Pacific Time. So it's uh, KLAV 1230 AM in Las Vegas and, of course, KLAV 1230 AM.com. I want to thank our uh, great sponsors, by the way, of course, Poker Night in America, our good friends there. Show's on Monday night, 10 p.m., all new. Coming up there for you. Ladies' nights are running right now. Poker Tilt by Dutch Boyd. Go to PokerTilt.com. Pick that up on Amazon Kindle. BlueRail.net. Pokershop.com, you got 10% off with the code Hoke at Pokershop.com. Zen Poker Mentoring and the Nevada Poker League. Free poker for you if you come out to Nevada. Join us in Las Vegas. 21 locations out there. So there you go. That's going to wrap it up for us, guys. We will see you back here tomorrow, 3 p.m. We'll be here all week except Super Bowl Sunday. May sneak one more day off so I can go to the pool. But uh, that's going to be about, uh, about it for us. We'll see you next time here on the Mark Hoke Show. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.